my dear school family. I am really happy, so glad to welcome all of you to the 2021-2022 school year. Welcome back to our returning students and, and a very special welcome to our new students, our new Celtics and their families. I do look forward to meeting you in person anytime soon. This year, we have the, all of our students back on campus and little by little, we are getting back to normal. So this is a good sign. A lot of work and preparation has been for this school year and rest assured that our teachers and staff are committed to providing an excellent academic, nurturing, healthy and safe environment for your children. Thank you so much for your constant support, which is really appreciated. And thank you for the trust that you put in our school for the education of your children. We will do our best not to let you down. Together, you and us, we can keep on making Immaculate Conception Catholic School a wonderful, fantastic place for your children to learn and to grow. So thank you again. God bless you and your families. I hope to see you around in church. I invite you to come to church every Sunday for Mass or around the school. Otra vez, Dios les bendiga a todos, a ustedes, a sus familias y gracias una vez más de corazón. Dios les bendiga. Good evening, Immaculate Families. I want to welcome all of you back to the 2021-2022 school year. We are so happy to have all of our students back on campus. Uh, it's I'm very happy seeing all of them every morning when you drop them off. And we're doing a great job of uh, keeping everyone safe. We are still following the protocols from the CDC and the Archdiocese of Miami, uh, spacing in the classrooms and in the cafeteria. And of course, the students are still wearing masks. I just did want to go over briefly, once again, that when the kids are outside at PE or at recess, they are able to take their masks off and have a mask break. We are encouraging this whenever we are inside the school building, in the classrooms, in the cafeteria line, we are wearing our masks. I do see some of the students outside wearing their masks because the parents want them to, and I totally understand the outside mask uh, decision is totally a parental one. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know they are allowed to take their masks off when they're outside. The uh, students are very happy to be back in the cafeteria and I know quite a few of the parents have told me that they are very happy to have the cap cafeteria opened as well. We are following uh, spacing guidelines in there as well. We've put up more tables than we usually have and the students are, are doing very well coming to the cafeteria and then of course going outside for recess. Uh, I did want to also bring up that we are going to do the best that we can, just like we did last year with having our activities, our fundraising activities. I want to thank all of you for always supporting us in whatever activities we have. Uh, right now, I can't tell you anything about Carnival or the Pig Roast, but I do know that we are going to do the very best that we can to have as many of the activities that we always have happen this school year. We are going ahead with our chocolate fundraiser. Uh, there's, Chocolates will be delivered in a uh, midweek of September 13th, and you will be getting the chocolates sent home. And uh, they went up slightly in price. Uh, you will get that information in your fax account, uh, but we are going ahead with our chocolate sale. I also wanted to let you know that I am aware still that there are quite a few uniform items on back order at Reese Brothers, and I totally understand. Just keep us posted with communication. We are making a weekly call to Reese also to see what is still on back order. And um, I understand the situation around the world still with the pandemic, many things are still behind. I, I also wanted to let you know that uh, 
the shoes are available. Uh, you can, if you opted for the penny loafers, there's no specific place that you have to purchase those. Those are available if you still need school shoes for your children. Um, we are very, very happy once again to have everyone back. I know that sometimes the students might have to miss school because they're sick for a regular reason, or maybe they had an exposure to COVID. We are not Zooming this year when students are homesick or in quarantine. The teachers will do their very best to stay in contact with you and email all of the work and work with you. We will be very patient in those situations um, until we can get all of the work turned back in. Uh, once again, I wanna thank all of you for everything you do for our school. Your fundraising uh, money from last year, a uh, portion of it went this summer to refurbish the floor on the stage in Mercy Hall and also to purchase new curtains for the stage as well. Uh, thank you very much again for everything that you do to help our school. I think we're going to have a wonderful school year. I'm looking forward to seeing you hopefully as things ease up with the pandemic. And uh, may God bless all of you. I'm here uh, whenever you need me. You can email me or call the school office and leave me a message. Uh, thank you very much once again for everything that you do. God bless you. Good evening, Immaculate Families, and welcome back. My name is Coach Gabby De La Vega, and I'm the physical education teacher, athletic director here at Immaculate. I'm entering my 16th year of teaching, and I'm excited for a brand new school year. Can't wait to teach your son or daughter brand new activities and sports, including KBB, soccer, flag football, field hockey, and much, much more. As long as they have a great attitude, work hard, and have good sportsmanship, I know we're gonna have a fantastic time this year. Also, Due to COVID-19 restrictions, the Archdiocese of Miami will revisit after-school sports in January. Once I get more information, I will make sure to share it along with you guys. Please feel free to contact me if you're interested in coaching any sport at gdelavega at icsmiami.org or contact the main office. Can't wait to meet you all individually. And remember, once a Celtic, always a Celtic. Have a great evening, everyone. Good evening, Immaculate Families. My name is Ms. Garcia, and I am your art teacher and drama program director here at Immaculate Conception Catholic School. I am a proud Immaculate alum for the class of 2010, so go Celtics. And I have been here for about three years now as the art and theater teacher. What you can expect when your students come to my classroom is a classroom filled with a bunch of colors, of course, and a lot of fun. Sometimes your students will go home a little bit messy, but don't worry, everything that we use in here is washable. We are going to cover a broad spectrum of topics ranging from art history to theater history to a bunch of things in between. So there is a lot of fun stuff that we are able to do together. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go ahead and shoot me an email at bgarcia at icsmiami.org and I will respond to you as quickly as I can. Thank you and have a great day. Welcome to Immaculate. Hola. My name is Claudia Tarnovic. I am the Spanish teacher. I teach in elementary and middle school. The Spanish program is designed to provide a sequential language learning experience. I know how difficult it is to study a new language. Um, for this reason, in my classes, I use different methods to study Spanish creating a good environment, learning environment. Um, also, I try to, the student feel comfortable to learn new language. We develop four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. We um, use video, audios to improve the Spanish. Uh, listening, the student will be able to understand the concepts, the idea. Speaking, for example, also the student will be able to express the concept, the idea. Writing, the student can write uh, complete assignments, but also they can write a small text. They can write a biography. Also, we try to show uh, the Hispanic culture, 
the Latin culture through different projects, uh, Hispanic heritage, uh, Navidad, uh, Easter, Pascua. We try to, to create an interpersonal communication. What does it mean? The mean that the student can each uh, can talk each other in Spanish through small dialogues and comment uh, ideas or um, share experience. For this reason, thank you. Thank you for coming to my class. I hope that you enjoy the Spanish classes. Y nos vemos pronto. Muchísimas gracias. Hello, good evening parents. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee, the music teacher. I'm very happy to see you today. I teach music in the best school in whole Florida, in Magdalene Construction. And my teaching consists in singing, worshiping the Lord. I teach about music appreciation. We learn about instruments. We also learn about writing and reading a little bit of music. And we learn about music throughout all periods and the generation since the very beginning. So if any concerns, please contact me. Glad to say hello to you. May God bless you and I'll see you in mass every Sunday. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for joining us for the first portion of our open house. Please refer to the email sent by your homeroom teacher where you will proceed to the second portion of our open house and meet with your child's teacher. God bless and thank you for being part of our Immaculate Family.